I'm going to turn the radio off copyright. Hello, folks. I've just got up. But I've got up to the most brilliant text ever. Wow. Most brilliant text in Jimmy World. <laughs> A text from Mr. Steve. Sorry. Hmm. Steve. Which is where I'm going now. Because it's MOT time. Rosie. Sorry, I was concentrating, just negotiating a junction there. If you wondered what that strange expression was on my face, that was called <clears throat> concentration. Something you don't see a lot of. So I am just on my way to Toad Speed HQ, the garage of dreams. Drop Rosie off, and then she's going for her MOT in the morning. And in the meantime, I don't know whether I will or not. Well, you'll know further in this video, after my expert <coughs> editing skills, is I might just have a quick look at Phyllis while I'm there. I might not. I'm tempted. Really, I'm tempted. It's only about two bolts holding that engine in. Get the engine out, bring it back home, get it on the bench, so we can do like Quincy MD styly. But the priority, of course, get Rosie MOT. That's what we're doing. At uh, my text, eventually we're getting around to the point. Uh, the text I received this morning, you're like, Good morning, Jiminy, are you up? Uh, I'm going to the cob van on my way to the garage. Would you like anything picking up? That's about like... Asking a paedophile if he'd like to go past the school on his way home. Because yes, I've just done a night shift, got a, literally a couple of hours kit. And um, now I'm on my way to Steve, so breakfastage would be nice. Uh, so that'll be all sorted out. And I thought I'd got to go up the garage for fuel, but it turns out I've actually got caught up the tank. I didn't know. Didn't know, because I've not driven... Uh, I've not driven this since... Thursday, I think. Because I've been using Flow the Micro of Doom. Because uh, it, it was just easier. My MOT would have actually ran out at midnight Thursday. So um, I would have, um, I was looking for a bloody work pass then. Uh, technically, I, it's a grey area. Technically, I probably would have been illegal to drive it Friday. You are allowed to drive to a testing station. And a lot of people say, oh, it's booked in, you're all right, you can drive it. But as I understand, I mean, they may be right. Don't know. It's not like I haven't done it before. But from what I can understand is it's legal to drive it to a place of MOT. Which, in theory, that's what I'm doing. So, you know, I don't know. I'm not getting into that. I might edit that bit out. just rejoined me and I'm making this silly face, it means I've just edited a small bit out of an argument I didn't agree with. <laughs> ah yes, so uh, yeah, that's where we're headed. I've got a pack of fruit gums for tonight, because I, I need sweeties, and I'm just, uh, it's going to be a pound minus three tonight, and the prototype that I'm in tonight does not have a heater. And you really do feel it because there's door gaps you could fit the Red Sea through and stuff like that. And it gets effing cold, effing quick. Now fortunately, I won't actually be in it long, probably a couple of hours max, which is okay. We've got a 
road junction they're now on a main road and it must be a shit instructor because they're doing 20 miles an hour this is why I can't be a driving instructor and at some point most of the family have said why don't you become a driving instructor it's like no 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 I've had offers before and I've had offers of jobs where to instruct people the thing is I've got no patience and I don't suffer fools if somebody doesn't do something the moment they are instructed to do it this is the background I've come from I will lose my temper with them or I will take over or something like that so no I couldn't be a driving examiner and people have always said to me as well because I've always really enjoyed driving I still enjoy driving I still just go out for a drive not to get from A to B I like a waft in the river you know I like a little top down bimbling slinky the SLK which I'm going to get Steve to have a look at at some point come over with massive jack <laughs> and um, yes see what needs to be done but I still love to drive for the hell of driving and I am like everybody else as well uh, oh god I've got to go here I get that as well but if I'm in the mood for driving I don't mind driving don't mind at all but it's um, people have said oh, why, why don't you become a taxi driver now this was before the days of you know Uber and all that lot when uh, you know local mini cabs were generally sort of Mark III Granadas and stuff like that and it's and it's like no I don't want to get stabbed for a fiver thanks it's like not going to happen I'm not going to have a load of pissed up fucking nightclubbers in my car fucking puking up and all that lot <laughs> So I'm here at Uncle Steve's and just in the process of removing the cylinder head on uh, Phyllis. Uh, nothing untoward found yet. Uh, cam chain and everything was okay. The gear was okay. Those bearings are perfect. The valves are nice. Um, so 
a little bit more work we've just got to take the intake manifold off and then uh, we can basically pull the cylinder head but uh, no nasties found as of yet Hello, Alan here and I want to go outside and ride my motorcycle because I've got a day off. I'm really looking forward to it. Ah, tits. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm tripping up all the crap on the floor. Hello folks, it's seven o'clock on Friday morning. And as you've just seen, uh, we've had a bit of the white stuff. God's dandruff has covered the landscape. Um, yes, but nothing we can do about it. We got cancelled from work yesterday, so I took a day's holiday. Because um, we had snow yesterday as well. And then it sort of disappeared by the night time. And then we've woke up to all this again. So, um, yeah, all the tracks are shut at work at the moment. Uh, we do have access to cameras and stuff like that at work to check the weather. Um, but, um, this news, um, I bought some Chrome Effect Spray. Shut, Alan, this is my bit, do you mind? I bought some Chrome Effect Spray just to, um, just to have a little experiment on some bits and stuff like that and give it a go and, you know, it, it might look nice on some, uh, 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 Jim, find the words, will you? They're in there. Oh, you know, some like side panel reliefs or something like that. Uh, I just want to play. Um, Uncle, um, hang on. Uh, where should we put Steve? Um, where should we put Steve? Um, let's put let's put Steve in the window. Uncle Steve. Hey, give me some super glue of the day uh, to do me mug guard. And as usual, I'm doing a terrific job of it because uh, you know cosmetics don't bother me this all will get sanded down and stuff like that and, and tsh, tsh, like that got some uh, silver engine enamel that's for pinky um but it's the type of super glue that window fitters use and it is a totally different type of super glue than you normally buy in your hardware store because normal super glue won't work on these plastic windows because of the type of <laughs> plastic it is. Um, and I didn't have much hope, but bear in mind this is this is cracked all, all the way up there, all the way across there, all the way across there, and all the way down. It's nearly in half. Uh, I was even tempted to put like a metal strengthening strip inside, pop rivet it. God knows what. I've also got glass fibre. And th but, um, yeah, I've only put a dribble on. That's already solid. So I will, uh, when it's a bit fucking warmer, I shall uh, continue edge with that. Uh, I've got some more red, red oxide paint in there for, um, 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 um pinkish frame. <laughs> Can't you tell I've not had my first brew yet? Anyway, Rosie news. Uh, Rosie was doing her MOT this week, uh, so it went up to Uncle Steve, and Uncle Steve took it, and she's failed, which is what I knew she would, on drop links uh, and a little bit more welding. So, not too bad at all for the age of the car and the fact that she's a daily and I don't fucking wash her. Um, not done bad. Anyway, I've got the drop links. I've had them a while from uh, Discount MG River Spares. And um, that's Uncle Steve's scanner, which he left in the car. And I went leaked in the car outside. So, uh, so yeah, so that's all the news we've got at the moment. I um, don't think I should be moving much today either. I've not been very well this week. I caught a chill in the week. And if I get a chill in my guts or anything like that, fucking scrub it. I ain't doing nothing because I can't do nothing because the uh, the arse to Calcutta ratio is very short and uh, still had it yesterday doubt it'll be any different today so right that's your little catch up oh yes for this news uh, shall we put a little picture up yes we'll put a little picture up um, let's put a little picture up 
here. So, as you can see, we're taking the cylinder head off of Phyllis because she broke down the other Friday. <laughs> I was going to Uncle Steve's, take the cylinder head to, from Pinky, get a stud removed, you know, a little bit of the old uh, weldy weldy nutty nutty, not got around to doing it yet. Other things transpired. Um, and I overtook a car on a scooter because, yes, cars hold scooters up, and then it's a backwards gear change and I'm, I've said this before it's not very healthy to go from full chat third to full chat second the engine doesn't seem to like it anyway it kept running high rpm it kept running and then when I pulled into Steve's driveway it died um, so I think we've tweaked the valve we'll know soon enough I've got to get the exhaust off but the exhaust nuts and stuff are all, they're all bollocks um, so all I've got to do really is remove the exhaust and then the um, the valve head can come off and uh, we can see what's what but when I go and do that I will film it um, so right so that should catch up and I must say a massive thank you to Carl Richards for being my first patreon supporter much appreciated Carl really do appreciate it absolutely brilliant so uh, I'm, I'm going to at the end of every video I'm now going to put a list of Patreon supporters. Um, Carl is in the exclusive position at the minute, but yeah, I really do appreciate it. It'll all go back in the channel or get me a brew or whatever. So uh, great news, Carl. Thank you very, very much. Um, I did actually notice you've been doing it since January, uh, but I didn't get a notification from Patreon. So I have actually only just noticed it. So uh, thank you very much. It's much appreciated.